All right, in this video, we're going to look at how to enter some data into the TI-84, and that's all we're really going to focus on here. This is going to be a series of videos that um, they're going to be short. I want to just first show you how to type your data into the calculator, and I want to show you how to work with list in the calculator. Uh, means, medians, standard deviations, that'll come a little bit later. I just want to make sure you are comfortable with typing the data into the calculator. So here's what we have. On the day of a final exam, an instructor asked each student how many hours of sleep he or she got the night before. Here's the data that the instructor collected. So these are the hours of sleep that uh, these, this group of students got the night before their final exam. So all I want to show you here is how do we type this data into the calculator and how can we manipulate our list and how can we work with our list? How do we clear a list? Um, we got to be careful about deleting lists and things like that. That's all I'm going to show you in this video. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I have to be able to see this stuff. So let me make this a little bit smaller. There we go. So here's all of our data. How do we type it in? So a TI-83 is going to be similar for the most part. There will be some things that are different uh, in future videos, but for now, it pretty much works the same way. So, you know, we're on our home screen, home screen, if you will, for the TI-84. Let's press the stat button and we want to edit. So now we're in our list screen and you might have L1, L2, L3, L4, L5 and L1 is where you want to type your data in for the most part. Sometimes we'll type in two variables but for now it's just one variable. So let's type our data in and you press enter each time after you type in a piece of data. Now I fast forwarded through that, but what you're going to notice is that if you were following along quickly, you would notice that I did type in an extra piece of data, so I need to get rid of that. It's always good to double check, just showing you some mistakes that you can make. So I'm just going to go backwards through here, five, six, seven, six, so five, six, seven, six. Then I have three sevens over here, but actually I only had two sevens. So I need to come up here and I need to delete one of these things. So I'm going to come right here and I'm going to press delete, and notice it shifted everything up. So I have two sevens, two sevens, and I have an eight, six, seven, eight, six, seven. That's good. I'm going to scroll back up. All right, so I'm back at the top of my list. So there was my eight, six, seven. There's my eight, six, seven. Then I have six, seven, nine. So six, seven, nine, and then seven, six, four, seven. So, okay, good. Everything is matching up nicely. It's always good to double check and make sure your data is typed in correctly. That's how you type your data in. If we press second and mode, that's going to quit. Notice anything in blue. All this blue stuff you see above the keys on my calculator, I can access any of these things, quit, by pressing the blue button, the second button, and then I press mode. Well, there's some things we can do with this list. Let me go back to that list one more time. I'm going to go to stat and go to edit. And all this stuff's out of order. Maybe you want to put it in order. Um, I don't find myself doing this very often, but sometimes it can be helpful if you're trying to find things such as the mode, which we'll cover in another video. But let me go ahead and show you how to do that. So I'm going to go back to my home screen, second mode, which is quitting, and we can sort this list. So we go back to stat. We can sort it from smallest to biggest, which is sort A. That stands for sort A sending. Or we can sort from biggest to smallest, which is going to be sort descending, the sort D. For now, I'm just going to go from smallest to biggest. So I'm going to go down here to sort A, and this is showing up on the home screen. This is where it needs to be showing up at. And what do you want to sort? Remember how we typed our data into L1? Well, notice we have an L1 right there. So the way we can access that is press second and press one, and notice L1 popped up. It's good practice when working with the calculator to always close up your parentheses. Um, you'd be okay if you didn't do it here, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to press enter, and it says done. So just like that, it's just sorted our list. Well, how can we check that? Go to stat, go to edit, and notice we sorted ascending. So it's going from smallest, and if we scroll through here, it's going smallest to biggest. As you can see, it does put everything in order for us. We can quickly go back and sort this thing by descending as well. So back on my home screen, I'm going to go to stat, I'm going to go to sort descending, and I'm going to do that same little thing here where I'm doing L1, closing up my parentheses, done. Let's go back and look at our list now. Boom, now it's in descending order, biggest to smallest. Again, I don't find myself doing this very often, but it's still worth mentioning. 
Now here's a mistake that I see students make. They want to clear out all this stuff. So what you could do is you could delete each individual element um, or each individual piece of data in this list or you can scroll up to the top. Notice it's showing all this junk. If we press clear and we press enter, it's going to clear out that entire list. Just like that, that's a, that list is empty, but we still maintain our L1. Be careful from making this mistake. So I'm just going to type in some random numbers here. I have a list of data, and I want to clear this list. Do not, you can make a mistake if you do this. If you go up here and you press delete on L1, it's going to delete L1. Oh, and you're like, oh man, I messed up. How do I get it back? I'm deleting list. You don't want to delete any list. And you might say, well, how the heck do I get them back? A quick way to get your list back, notice if I'm trying to scroll, I can't scroll back to L2 or L1. I can go right, but I can't go back to L2 or L1. A way to get your list back is we go to Stat, and we go down to Setup Editor. All right, Setup Editor, press Enter. Make sure that's showing up on the home screen, and it's done. Now if we go back to Stat, and we go to Edit, notice we do have our L1 and our L2 back. So the word, or a word of advice here is, to clear a list, you scroll to the top, you press clear, you press enter. Now, suppose you start getting a little crazy with your list. So I have um, a couple pieces of data typed in in L1. Suppose I have some data typed into L2. Later on in the course, you will have some data to type into two lists. Heck, suppose you have three lists with data in it. All right, sure, we can scroll to the top of every list and press clear. But another little feature on the TI-84 is we can clear all of three of these very quickly by going back to our home screen, go over to stat, and we can go down to clear list. And do you remember how I had a L1, a L2, and a L3 with data in it? We can clear them all by doing clear list, and we have to pick the list that we want to clear. I want to clear L1, comma, I want to clear L2, comma, I want to clear L3. This is just a way that you can quickly clear a number of lists at one time. Press enter, it says done, and now if I go back to stat and edit, all of my lists are clear because if you recall just a moment ago, I did have data in all three of these lists. But like I said, most of the time I just kind of scroll up to the top, I press clear, I press enter. But I at least wanted to give you a quick intro on, you know, honestly, we covered all this stuff. We covered what edit does. We looked at sorting our list, ascending and descending. We looked at how to clear the list in two different ways. And then we also talked about the setup editor. And that's how you can retrieve all of your list back if you accidentally delete a list. And that's all I want to cover here. Again, this is an intro to working with lists, and I wanted to show you how to type the data into the calculator. In future videos, we will look at uh, getting some more statistics or getting statistics from this data, such as the mean, the standard deviation, the uh, median, and like the five number summary, and even more will come up later on in the course. But that's it for this video. I hope it helped.